Hi there everyone, welcome back to the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel. As you can tell, I'm not in South London, I'm not in Croydon, my typical surroundings. I am still repping Palace, obviously, but I'm out here on a family holiday at the moment out in Spain. So um, unfortunately, we'll be missing the first game of the season tomorrow, which is of course away to Chelsea. Gutted about that because I probably would have uh, been getting a ticket to go there. Um, but obviously being here, can't do that. But this is the first Palace preview of a new season. Um, I'm buzzing for it. I'm buzzing for it. I tweeted about it earlier after listening to some of the stuff Patrick Vieira had to say in his press conference. And I think that there's a lot to be excited about this season. Um, it could go one of two ways. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely still being conservative in my thinking and realising that, you know, bringing all this new change all at once, it can go one of two ways. Um, you've got to be wary of that. There's a reason why the bookies have put us as favourites to go down this season again um, and Vieira favourite to one of the favourites to be sacked um, first this season and it's because of all this change coming all at once a younger squad now definitely new players um, Vieira fair to say not proven at this level never managed in the Premier League so there's obviously a lot of reasons why people would think we'd go down this season the reason I'm very optimistic on it is because of what I've seen since he's come in the way the the board and uh, backed him with transfers and some amazing deals, um, it has to be said. Anderson, uh, Gerhi, Alisi, um, Alisi, sorry, as I pronounce it, um, to name a few. And of course, you've then got um, signed, uh, obviously, um, John Texter, who's come in as an investor into the club, adding 90 million and taking a share in the club. And he, with his introduction, it looks like we are planning to make a couple more signings as well. It doesn't look like we're going to stop here. You know, we've had some very good signings already and to add on and to the fact we're looking to add on to that, I think there's a lot to be excited about on that front. I think the tactics and the, the actual football that Vieira is looking to bring to the club is actually what we need and I think really suits the DNA of the club really well. Uh, you know, pressing game, getting fans off the seats, you know, exciting football, counter-attacking with a lot of pace and aggressiveness. Um, all of that sort of stuff is exactly what Palace has been all about as a club, you know. Um, focusing on the wings as well, four three three. I think we've got players in the squad now that you know we've, our midfield is looking great. I think we still need another addition just to offer offer us something else. But Conor Gallagher as a loan deal is amazing, and I think we've made some amazing signings. As I said, we're going to add to that, but also the tactics that we're looking to build these you know these signings add to a great tactic. Um, I think that is the way we've got to go, and I think there's a lot to be excited about there. Um, I'm looking ahead to this game against Chelsea tomorrow. Obviously, it's the, the toughest game you could have first off the bat. Um, European champions just won the Super Cup midweek as well. Of course, it's, it's a very tricky, very, very tricky game to have um, first off the bat. But Stanford Bridge, you never know that. I, I know that they've obviously rotated a few players, but having 120 minutes under their belt midweek probably wouldn't go... I wouldn't say is a great thing to have add to their preparation for this game. Um that being said, they've got such a deep squad and such a uh, so many players that I don't think it's going to be a problem for them. Looking tactically, of course, I think that we're going to Vieira is going to try and implement what we've been doing in pre-season in this style of play. I don't think he's going to change his approach and his tactical approach um, necessarily um, or, or drastically. I should say, depending on if we're playing a big team or a small team, I do think there has to be small tactical changes, which you have to have when you're playing bigger teams, being obviously more conservative in terms of um, your positioning on the pitch, not not being too vulnerable or open to the counter-attack because these teams will punish you just like that. You're not going to get a second chance. or, or you, Most of the times, if you give them an inch, you know they, they will score um, these top teams. So... Obviously, I do think he'll be a bit more conservative on his approach in, in that to, in that sense, in terms of defensively and the way we set up. But when we're when we're in possession and when we do have the ball, I don't think he's going to change things up drastically from what we've seen in pre-season. I think he will look to hold possession as long as possible, look to find those passes, try and limit the the long balls as much as possible, and look to play through the through the midfield. I think players like Jara Riedewald, he's been massive in pre-season and he's going to be key to how Vieira wants to play. Him and Conor Gallagher. MacArthur, those sort of players with loads of energy, Mac Mac um, Gallagher and MacArthur come to mind straight away. Loads of energy, looking to press, looking to get the ball and to close down quickly and to break and uh, to start counter attacks. They're going to be crucial for that. So they're going to be massive players, of course, and, and linking up with Reed of Ward and trying to play it forward to the likes of Ben Take and Zahar um, up front. 
I think that's going to be interesting. I really don't know how this is going to go tomorrow. I really don't. But I mean, obviously, we're going to, we're expected to lose, and I'm expecting us to lose. Don't get me wrong. Um, I do think it's important that, as excited as I am, and and all of you guys watching at home as well, uh, with you know, in terms of the fan base, uh, with what we're seeing and and the new revolution at the club, as exciting as it is, I don't think you can get carried away from the fact that this is a very tricky start to the season we've got you know Brentford first home game is Brentford and we know what it's like playing a newly promoted team first uh, in your first home game Huddersfield's a great example under the ball it's, you know in a new system with a new manager and a more uh, progressive possession based style that didn't go too well did it 3-0 defeat at home to newly promoted Huddersfield so you've got to be wary of Brentford I think that's going to be a very tough opening game up at home um, you've got Arsenal in there you've got Liverpool in there you, you, we've got a tough start to the season don't get me wrong Brighton as well not too far around the corner as well so realistically you've got I, you can't expect I don't think you can expect too much of the team in these first five six games I really I wouldn't be surprised if we're down in the bottom three come the end of the first five games of the season but equally I don't think that's necessarily a reason to be concerned I think that the, the start we've got to season if we can get six points on the board I think that'd be a really good return um, maybe I'm being a bit too conservative there maybe people were expecting us to get more points than than I'm suggesting there um and that would be great if we do of course but I'm just trying to be realistic I think we've as exciting as it is we've got to be realistic with these fixtures uh, and and the new tactical change coming to this team new staff new personnel there's a lot of new things happening to this team it really is a revolution at Crystal Palace right now and you've got to just bear in mind that some of these settled teams around us um yeah they're, they're, it, it's going to be hard to necessarily get points straight off the bat but then again, you d you never know. As I said, it could go one or two ways. This and if we go fly, have a flying start, and it all clicks off the bat, and you know all these players have all the fitness and energy that they've looked at had in preseason, and we come out with the blocks faster, quicker, fitter than other teams around us, then it could be a very exciting season. But looking at the lineup, I do think it's going to be the same team that started in our last um and our last piece in the game against Watford. Uh, Anson is in the matchday squad. I'd love him to start, of course, but I think he will start Kiate only because Anderson's only had a, a couple of weeks back um, since coming since his holiday because he was at the Euros, of course, had to isolate when he came back because of his holiday. So when he signed for the club, he was in isolation. I think he's only had a, few, a week and a bit of training, realistically, um, or pre-season. So I don't think he's going to be match ready, in my opinion. I'd love it. I'd love it to see him start, but I think it was more likely to be Kiate and Gui at centre back. Great start to the season for him, or pre-season for him, of course, as a new signing. And our new number six, Gaeta behind them, of course. Mitchell and Ward, I think, will be the two left and right back. Maybe Klein, but I think it's more likely to be Ward by going off of what we've seen in pre-season. Ahead of the midfield three, Riedewald and MacArthur Schlupp. I think that midfield three has been brilliant in pre-season. The energy, as I said earlier, with MacArthur and Schlupp and all the, obviously likes of Gallagher probably on the bench, I'm assuming. Oh, well, he's not going to be playing because he's on loan from Chelsea, of course. So with him out of the squad and out of the situation, it's almost certain that it's going to be MacArthur starting alongside Schlupp ahead of Riedewald. And I love that. I love the balance in that midfield. I think it's got great potential that for um, a, strong, a strong season uh, if it all clicks into place. And then ahead of them, I think it's going to probably going to be Ayu Zahar and Benteke as the front three. Benteke hopefully can get more headers like he scored against Watford to give him some more um, crosses and, and distribution. Jaira Readable and Corners looks quite interesting, so hopefully that continues. And yeah, that's my predicted lineup. I would love to see Raksaki start, but is he ready? That's the question. I think he will be on the bench. Scott Banks is more like, might be on the bench as well. And I'd love to see him get game time and actually contribute the season. And it really looks like the club with the introduction of new of the new staff members as well Derry being promoted from the under 23 coach to the first, to be a first team coach they really are emphasizing on integrating youth into the team and it, it go again goes back to our DNA having such a good academy and having so many class players being promoted from the academy at Crystal Palace I just love it everything we've done this summer is brilliant and it feeds into what we are as a club and it makes me very proud and hopefully we can that can be shown on the pitch the effort that's been put in behind the scenes in pre-season so let me know your thoughts guys as a score prediction I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to go 2 2. I think there'll be goals. Um, I think we're going to be more vulnerable than we were under Roy Hodgson on the counter attack. Although last season we did still leak goals, a lot more goals than we should have in the system that Roy was playing. Um, but new system, new manager, new tactics, new players. I'm expecting us to not necessarily be perfect off the bat, especially against a team like Chelsea. Don't get me wrong, I'm expecting us to lose. But I'm going to back ourselves and go for a 2 2 score prediction. Let me know what you think down below, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed this preview. Obviously, I'm sorry that I won't be able to do a watch-along or a vlog and be at the game, but hopefully Brentford next week um, I'll be able to contribute in some way. 
to to that game and um yeah let me know your thoughts down below like share and subscribe if you're new and here from sunny spain um thank you so much for watching like share subscribe and i'll see you all next time fingers crossed come on you palace